we are going to take you on a food tour around Carnival Venezia, showing you all of the included meals and some of the specialty dining meals. Don't worry, we are not eating all this food in one day. It's going to be out through the duration of our cruise. Let's get started. It's breakfast time, so we're going to start here at Tomadora. This is a Mexican and Mexican Italian fusion. For those of you who are familiar with Carnival, very similar to Blue Iguana Cantina, but has a few Italian items as well. They have a breakfast burrito and huevos rancheros. I think I'm gonna go with the breakfast burrito. very good looking breakfast burrito that's got Mexican eggs, cheese, sausage, lettuce, and pico. And then I have a salsa to pour on top of it. A mild, not too hot salsa. Let's give this a try. Mm. So I forgot there's crunchy bits of like hash browns in here too. That is a very, very good breakfast burrito. It's, it's filling, it's very big. I don't even think I could eat this whole thing, but the sausage is good, the eggs are well seasoned, that those hash browns give it texture. So, Tomodoro also for lunch will have tacos and burritos, but they will also have Italian meatball subs and another Italian sandwich. So, it's familiar, but it's different. It's unique to Carmel Venezia called Tomodoro instead of Blue Iguana Cantina, but it's the same food that you know and love. days for lunch takes the place of the big anchor let's give it a try that's the chicken so it's like chicken cacciatore so almost yeah it's, it's like, like Italian it's like style. uh it's like chicken with tomato sauce on top you know for uh, a quick go you need something to put in your tummy it works right now Here's the meatball sandwich. This is the actual sandwich. We're not gonna actually eat the whole sandwich. We're just gonna eat the meatball inside of it. I love those meatballs. Those are good meatballs. I think those are great meatballs. I could eat those meatballs all day long. Good. And then I've got a sausage. Elisa got the dipping sauce. What did you get? That's garlic parmesan and eh. uh, pesto aioli. Let's do that one. Pesto red, aioli. Red pepper pesto. With the sausage? Okay. So basically, that gets the job done. Is it going to blow you away? Absolutely not. But it's food. And when you're on a cruise, you're drinking, you're having fun, you just need something to kind of nurse the system, this will definitely do the job. I like it. We are at Guy's Burgers for lunch, and I got the Venezia Special. This is a burger made just for this ship. So it has the traditional beef patty, but instead of cheddar cheese, it has mozzarella, melted mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce, some little crispy uh, pepperonis, and then this right here is a slab of fried mozzarella, and there's donkey sauce on the top. This is very different than a traditional guy's burger. That is so different than any other guy's burger. But let me tell you, if you like cheese, you will like this because it's got the melty mozzarella and then it's got basically a giant mozzarella stick on top of it is what it is. And that cheese just like spreads. Strings. Strings. I couldn't think of the word. That looks, that looks so good. 
That's actually very, very good. <laughs> so the Carnival Deli is in the buffet area. It's open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. and they serve hot sandwiches and cold sandwiches. So I got a couple to try. This is the steak and cheese, so basically like a Philly cheesesteak. That has good flavor, but it needs more meat and cheese to bread ratio. So a lot of bread, not enough meat and cheese, but the flavor's good. I got me some roast beef. I didn't really see. It's it's not prime rib, but it's got the the horseradish sauce, and I got some gravy on it. It's not tender like a leg it, but it's getting the job done. It tastes fine. I got some penne pasta and uh, vegetable enchilada. That actually looks good. Yeah. yeah. I went and got me some more of those vegetable enchiladas. You know, I wouldn't normally ever get that, but we've been at karaoke and partaking a little bit and enjoying our cruise. But let me tell you what, that actually is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. good and then I got the seconds. steak and ale mushroom soup too. Steak and what? Steak and ale. Ale. It sounded like you said steak and <laughs> Oh, no, no steak and tonight. Sorry. <laughs> That is not on the menu. I would not be eating that. <laughs> Stay in hell, people. Nothing is better than late night pizza. So it is like 8.30. I've already had dinner, been at karaoke, and it's time for a late night snack. And since we're selling from New York, you must fold your pizza, right? We're on the level of pizza that you know, mm -hmm. well, I mean, what do you think? Well, don't turn it on me, I'm asking you the question. I'm asking you the question, what do you think? I asked you first. <laughs> okay, it's the same pizza you're gonna get on any carnival cruise. It's good pizza. Is it my favorite pizza? No, but it's good pizza, it's consistent, it's made the same all the time, so you know what you're gonna get. Uh, it's got a good flavor, but it's just not my favorite. I'm a big pizza girl, and it's not my favorite. It's got tomato sauce. It's got pepperoni. It's got cheese. And it's cooked in a an oven. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're hungry, after a night of partying on a ship, for those who do that, it tastes wonderful. That's what this pizza does. It nourishes you when you're hungry late at night and you know what I actually don't mind it I think the taste of it's just fine is it the best pizza in the world nope but it's good pizza I, I kill it every time and I enjoy it yep straight up we are having dinner tonight at El Vaggio this is the brand new Italian restaurant on the Carnival of Venezia this restaurant's not on any other of the carnival ships, so I'm really excited to try it. This is a four-piece meal here. You get an appetizer, a super salad, an entree, and a dessert. So for my starter, I have the mozzarella in carrazza, and I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'm not good at Italian, so I'm doing the best I can. Let's see how this tastes. delicious. It's basically a square of mozzarella that has like a parmesan breading on it that's been fried. So the, the cheese is soft and warm and just pulls apart and then you have a marinara sauce to dip it in. That's really good. So I got the house made burrata which is basically fresh mozzarella, big old glob of fresh mozzarella, delicious bright looking tomatoes with the pesto sauce. Nice and light. Get some of that pesto on there. Just what I was wanting, something light. Um, that mozzarella, it's real creamy, almost mushy. Very different than what I'm used to with the texture of mozzarella. But it goes with the tomatoes really good. Might just add a little salt. I got the pasta a la Genovese. Hope I said that right. So basically it's ziti and short rib. Anytime I see short rib on the menu, I always get it because it's usually a very tender meat. And of course, they put fresh Parmesan on top. Yum. That is really good. 
the meat is basically shredded on there. So if you don't know what a beef rib is, it's basically the same as a roast. It's a very tender, long, slow cooked meat. It's very, very flavorful. You can tell it's got a lot of herbs in it, how it was cooked. And the ziti is a little al dente, but it works with the soft meat. It's good. Okay, that is on the rare side of medium rare, but not too rare for me. I'm good with that, so I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so I like it. Um, it's, I'll tell you straight out, it tastes like a steak with tomato sauce on it. Um, <clears throat> which is fine, I like both of those things together. It's different, uh, but that's what it tastes like. Like, a, it's got, you can definitely taste the roasted garlic on there that's been mixed in with the, or cooked in with the marinara sauce. And it's got these olives and onions in the marinara that's poured on top of the steak. Very interesting. I'm gonna eat a few more bites. Okay, so the more I eat the strip loin, by the way, this is a 14 ounce strip loin. Uh, it's good and thick. Um, the tenderness is great, and, but the more I eat it, that marinara that they put on it, I mean, it's deep in flavor. You can really taste the roasted garlic in there. It's been stewed down with the olives and the onions, and the flavor's deep, which I do like. So the more and more I eat it, the more I like it. It's just different. Look at the size of this piece of pie in perspective to my face. It's ginormous. This is gelato pie, so that's ice cream or gelato but it looks really, really good. Mm, that caramel on top really makes it. So, God, this is a lot of ice cream or gelato. I'm not a fan of the crust. The crust has an almost like espresso coffee flavor to which it. Which you do not like. Which I don't like. So like a tiramisu kind of flavor, which I never I ordered saw it tiramisu. I your face immediately when you bit into it. Yeah, the crust is not my favorite, but the the gelato itself and the yummy so for all you coffee fans, caramel on top. Of you might like it. And Elisa made me get the cannolis. So there's like some I don't know which kind there is. There's chocolate chip. Looks like there is pistachio and another one. They look delicious, but I am gonna forego dessert. She's gonna try them though. I guess I'll have to take one for the team and try Jason's cannolis. Looks like I didn't miss out. Trying different ones. That's the chocolate chip. That one's better. The ricotta is a bit sweeter in this one. And the chocolate flavor helps it. But cannolis are just not my thing, I guess. So after your dessert, they bring your uh, end of the meal palate cleanser. So it is um, kind of like a beignet, but crispier. So fried dough, very, very thin with powdered sugar on it. And a shot of limoncello. Cheers. Ooh. That's very lemony. <laughs> and look, we got a special guest with us. This is Chef Satcher. We are at El Vagio. And this is the guy responsible for that amazing meal that we just had. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank it was you, absolutely you. delicious. Thank it was you. a very pleasant dining experience. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank thank you. It's my pleasure to serve you. Thank and, you. Uh, we will have again with you. We'll meet again. I hope so. I hope so. We'll be over here again. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We absolutely have loved Bonsai Sushi on prior carnival ships and had to have it again tonight. So we were trying to figure out what for dinner is like main dining room, buffet, sushi. Yep, that's what we're doing. So it's cool. You come in here and you just kind of pick from the menu what you want. And we traditionally do what's called a ship for two. So it's a, a very large portion meal for two people. Miso soup um, comes normally with a side salad, but we're getting edamame and two rolls and six pieces of sushi and sashimi. Let's see how this miso soup is. Mm, that is so good. It is really good. You like all that tofu. I love bonsai sushi. I remember it on the Vista. I really enjoyed the ship for two. That's what we ordered. I got my San Pellegrino, like the OG, you know, soda water. And, and that's Italian water on an uh, Italian yeah, chip. That's right. And the miso soup is great. That's good. That's good soup. Mm. And I like tofu, man. Just something. And all these stringy little noodles. Mm. 
<laughs> she also brought us the edamame, which I love. Little green beans still in the pockets. You squeeze them out. Look, it's just. It's gonna fly out. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> squeeze them out and eat them. They're delicious, and they put like spices and seasonings over the top of it. And just. Mm. They are so good. Also got a salad. I'm gonna try. It's got some. That dressing smells delicious. And then of course, the spicy tuna. And the sashimi with the ginger and the wasabi. So how they plated it is they typically have a big boat and they're, they don't have the boats on the ship so they just plated it separate. What they did was half of each of the rolls for each of us and three pieces of the sushi. But I don't eat raw so all of the shrimp tempura is mine even what's on his plate and then I'm gonna give him the spicy tuna. But look at that beautiful, beautiful sushi. Yum. Oh, I'm so glad we did this for dinner. Nice change. Yum. All right, I'm gonna dunk. I'm going all the way in. <laughs> I'm dunking it all. Mm. Mm. Spicy tuna mm. and wasabi. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this food tour on Carnival Venezia. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Leave a comment down below. What was your favorite food on this food tour that you'd like to try? I'm stuffed. <laughs> I know. We're so full. See you next time. Happy cruising. Happy Bye. Cruising.